guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, my name is Jody, and this is my very first YouTube video that I've ever made. Um, and I really appreciate you watching. It's going to be a haul video. Um, I went to four different stores this weekend, and I'm going to show you guys what I got. And I'm going to try not to say ah or um too much. <laughs> try to look at the right camera. And yeah, hopefully you guys like hauls because it's going to be kind of a long one. And uh, get your snacks and your wine and sit down because... Uh, yeah, it's going to be a while. <laughs> so like I said, I went to four different stores. Um, I went to a Value Village, a Goodwill, and then Goodwill Outlet, and a different Goodwill. So kind of a variety um, for thrifting. And I spent, let's see, $65, then $37, then $24, and then $150. So whatever the math is on that, um, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I paid for every item. Um, I'm not going to tell you kind of what I'm expecting to get because I have no idea. I personally don't really look up comps. I'm more of a go with your gut kind of person. Um, I'm only a part-time reseller. I've been reselling for about two and a half years. And I just kind of go with what I think is going to sell. What I like, basically. <laughs> um, and... It's not really meant to be like an advice kind of thing. Um, I'm not really trying to tell you exactly what to pick up, but just showing you what's out there. Um, and yeah, let's get started. Uh, I will have cats kind of going in the background. They run around. So just be aware that those noises are just my cats and not like a ghost or anything. Because <laughs> your first thought would be it's a ghost. Um, so at the first store that I went to, I went to Value Village. Um, and that's the store that I spent $65 at. I did not get very many pieces, but I did get quality pieces in my mind. Um, the very first thing I'm going to show you, sorry, the first two stores are on hangers. The second two stores are in their bags still. So, uh, is this Everlane sweater. It's kind of a crop style. You can see that the sleeves are significantly longer than the body. Um, and it's a size medium. I did pay $3.99 for it, which is a great price. Um, Everlane does pretty well, at least in my experience. There's a cat, sorry. Um, <laughs> and it's not in the best condition, but I think I'll definitely make at least, you know, I expect to make at least double my money. So it'll definitely sell for more than $8. I'm assuming around $25 to $30 uh, would be my guess. If you, if I had to make a guess. The second thing I got is this Reese sweater. Sorry, I probably should be showing you the tag, um, but I'm like really far away from the camera, so I don't know how people do that, but this is a size extra small. I paid $3.99. Um, it's a black sweater with this like uh, wrap front. Just really simple. It does need some sweater shading, but overall is in pretty good condition. I did not look up comps, like I said, but I have heard that brand from people on Instagram. Um, joining the Instagram community has really opened my eyes to a lot of brands that I'd never heard of before. So I'm constantly trying to find those things so that I can learn for myself. That is my first time ever picking up that brand. So we're going to see how it does. Next thing I got is this Johnny Waz, Johnny Waz top. Um, it's a size large. It's 100% silk, so you can see that it's kind of sheer. Can you see me through it? I don't know. Um... But it's really pretty. It's got this crochet on the front and also on the sleeves. And it's kind of a batwing style. And I paid $4.50 for this. The next thing that I got is this sweater. It's a Lululemon sweater. It's a long cardigan um, with, I believe, yeah, buttons down the front. And then the back is like a tensil kind of material. And it has the little logo down here. Um, the tag is cut out, so I don't know the size. But I'm assuming it's around a 10. Um, and I did pay $13.50 for this. I do pay up for Lululemon uh, sweaters and leggings. Anything else? Pretty much no. Um, I won't pay more than $20 for a sweater. But um, I won't pay more than like $8 for a tank top. So I have my ranges. But I really like having Lululemon in my store. I think it brings great traffic. Um, as I've said before on my Instagram stories, that it's just good, like a good brand that people are looking for. So it might bring people into your closet to make a bundle. Um, or it's just kind of that exposure type of brand. So 
The next thing that I found is this light blue little Eileen Fisher cardigan. It's a kind of a looser knit, so you can definitely see me through this one. Um, and it is a size uh, petite medium. Not medium petite, petite medium. There's totally a difference. There's not, that was a joke. Um, <laughs> and I paid $4 for this. They had a ton of Eileen Fisher at this store. Every single one was priced above eight or nine dollars some of them were upwards of 20. Uh, this was the only one that i found that was reasonably enough price for me to pick up um i did if i didn't say it already i paid four dollars for it um and i do really well with eileen fisher you'll see i've picked up more within this haul and it does really well for me i mean last week i sold a sweater for 97 dollars that i paid a dollar for so it's a sitter like if you don't like things that sit maybe it's not for you but I don't mind keeping things for months because it's not going anywhere in my mind. Like, all right, it's in the bin. Like, I've already done all the work. Might as well let that investment turn into a good amount of money for me. So that is that. The last thing I got from Value Village is this really, really adorable bow print dress. It is by Kate Spade and it's a size eight. This is the Cora dress. I've already looked up the style name. This one I did look up comps on because it's kind of a larger investment. Um, I paid $30 for this. So you're thinking, what justifies $30? A lot of the comps were above $100. Um, and we're going into that type of season where people are looking for holiday dresses. So there's kind of combination of things. And it's a pretty good size. It's like a mid-range size. Um, I went ahead and got it. And it is in, like, new condition. Um, if it had the tag on it hidden somewhere... I would not be surprised like that's how good a condition it's in and I think I'll make my money back double or more so that's the kind of the criteria I'm looking for that is the most expensive thing that I've bought in this entire haul and um, I don't think I'll have trouble making a profit on it so the next store that I went to is a Goodwill um, also this one is north of me um, and I paid thirty seven dollars and seventy two cents for everything I'll show you what I got there. This was my most exciting thing and the thing I paid the most for at the store is this Prairie Underground long kind of moto style. It's got this quilting here jacket. It's like a sweater jacket. So like a swack it, you know, <laughs> casually. I did pay $10 for this. It's a size large. Um, comps. I looked up comps. I look up comps on more expensive things. How about I say that? Because that's kind of more like my rule. Um, we're between like 60 and 120. So there's a range there, but I knew I was going to make at least double my money. So I went ahead and got it. Um, it felt like a good investment and this is in really great condition. So that felt worth it to me. Next up is another Eileen Fisher piece. Uh, this one is a size medium. It's a white, very loose knit kind of beachy sweater. It does have a couple small snags on it, but I went ahead and got it anyway. I think I can push those through. Um, if you're not familiar with what I mean, um, sometimes in, when there's a knit and it's a looser knit, you can take like a pencil, well maybe not a pencil, but that <laughs> something I get on it, but like a paper clip and you kind of like loop it through and push it through and then the snag goes on the inside instead of on the outside. So it kind of makes it disappear. I'll still mention that there's a few small snags um, in the listing, but uh, it will just increase the value and I don't see a problem with that. Um, and I did pay $4 for this one. The next thing I found is also an Eileen Fisher. This one's 100% linen. Uh, kind of sheer. <laughs> Apparently that's my new thing. I don't know what I'm doing with that. But I paid $6 for this one. It's a size small. And it's just kind of like a dusty uh, brown color. Dusty brown? I don't know. The dark brown. <laughs> don't know where I'm getting dusty for from um and that's just an open cardigan the next thing i think this is a dress i'm gonna find the stock photo so that i can tell it's a size extra small and at first i thought it was a really long like tunic for a larger size but it it, it says extra small so i'm assuming this is a dress it's like a mixed media with this like kind of shimmery satin and then this is kind of like a crepey material um, this is from Universal Standard. I should have said that to begin with. I'm sorry. Um, I did pay $5 for this. So their stuff's kind of expensive and the resale's pretty good. Um, I have one item in my store right now from them. 
um, but it hasn't sold. But there's comps for that item in like the $60 to $70 range. So I felt confident picking up another piece, um, especially for such a low price. The last thing from this store is this Pearl Azumi jacket, which is a biking brand. Um, like bicyclists, sorry. <laughs> um, not like motor motorcycles. Um, and I paid half off of $7.99. So I did pay $4 for this. It's a bright green um, jacket with these white panels on the sides. And it has the zip off um, sleeves, which is very, very helpful when you're recycling because you get hot very quickly. Um, and this is a size small. It's the Elite series. Um, this, I just know, is a good brand. It's a quality brand. And people are looking for this kind of stuff. It's such a specialty item that I've sold multiple Pearl Azumi items in the past, and they've done relatively well. So spending $4 was not a big deal to me. All right, now we're going to go into the bins stuff that I found. I paid a total of $24.29 for the following items. Um, I did not get my average. Sorry, I probably should have done that, but I still have the items in the bags right now. So I just got home. Um, I went to a Posh and Thrift this morning um, with a bunch of ladies from Seattle, from the Poshmark Seattle community Facebook group. Um, and we went to breakfast and then we went to the bins. So and this was at the Seattle bins. Um, so I'm first going to show you some accessories and then we'll go to shoes and then to the rest of the clothes because that just seems easiest as far as layout goes. For the accessories, I paid a total of $1.79. First thing I got is this really pretty sheer kind of, um, it's, it has sleeves, so it's kind of like a poncho kimono thing. Um, this is from Lane Bryant. And it's really beachy. I believe it's one size. I can't imagine it has an actual size. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Um, so that's really fun for fall. Then I picked up this little Free People reusable bag. Um, these don't sell for a lot, but I figured I would pick it up. If you guys have ever watched Denali um, at LD Joe Thrift, she picks these up. And I think they're just st nice, nice, sturdy little bags that they give away. And I did pick up a couple of Ipsy bags as well, um, just to send to, there's a little donation person that collects them to use for like a, um, I want to say charity, but that sounds like a weird word to use, uh, but she puts them to good use. Next thing is this Columbia hat. It has the logo right here, spell out logo. It's kind of a bright corally orange color. And it is a one size women's hat. It's really nice. It's kind of athletic feeling. And then this is a Ann Taylor, just a little canvas bag. I'm guessing it was free with purchase or something. But I thought the graphic was really cute. And it just says Ann Taylor on the back. And the way that it's folded, I could tell that it was never used. So I might sell a couple of these items I might sell on Mercari. Usually I get better like response for these smaller items because the shipping is lesser. I'll still list them on Poshmark, but more than likely those sell in a bundle. Um, yeah, it, it's nothing too exciting. So usually I'll just put them on Mercari and hopefully they sell with the $2.99 shipping that they have right now. Next thing is this little card. It's totally random. I figure I'll use it eventually. Um, it's from the Hallmark Signature Collection. I don't know. It's a pineapple. It's got little gold gems on it. It was originally $6.99. Who pays that for a card? I don't know, but I got it anyway. Another little thing I got is this Michael Kors keychain. I think it came from a bag, like a little fob. I don't know. Someone probably wants it, right? Sometimes I just end up picking up a bunch of random stuff. Um, kind of like this. This is a rough wear, um, which is like a sporty dog thing. <laughs> I, I know that sounds super weird, but I have sold their uh, puffer vest from them before. Oh, that was not how I thought it was going to go. <laughs> and I got $40 for that. That one was like brand new. This one needs to be washed, but it's like a harness. Um, so there's the top and there's the bottom and you hook your leash onto it, you know. So it's a size small. It just has some dog fur on it for good reason. That's not surprising to me. But it, 
it's just it's good and they're they, it's expensive if you have a dog you know that buying gear for them can get expensive very quickly so i sell these i've sold that one on mercari again i'll sell this on mercari i'll clean it up and then i'll sell it <laughs> no one wants someone else's dog fur um next so that was all the accessories paid a dollar 79 for all of that is the shoes i only got three pairs three three pairs and i paid three dollars and 57 cents so around a dollar 20 a pair the first thing i got are these ugg boots they're just the little toggle side i think that they're kids size let me look sorry yeah size two so that's like the biggest kid size and they do have some discoloration here um but the bottoms are pretty much perfect so i think it's just water wear and there's a way to get this off to like clean it and get rid of that staining so i'm gonna go ahead and try that the insides are still really fluffy and i think that there's a lot of wear left in these so went ahead and got them the next thing are these really crazy kind of fun um they're from body line i did not look up comps um but they kind of remind me of like retro pinup type shoes i'm trying to snap it together and it's not going to there we go they're a mary jane and they have this bow on the top it got like a square kind of toe and then this double strap with these little bows on it and there's also a bow on the back so and it has a little bit of a platform and then a wedger like wedger a more wedge heel so i just and there's a little heart there too how fun these are just very costumey but i didn't look them up or anything again i only paid a dollar 20 for them so they're in good condition there's some minor marks on them but honestly nothing that i think is going to deter someone from buying them and or maybe this is broken yikes did i buy a broken thing no okay it went on oh my gosh i was so scared there for a minute and i don't they may have been worn once Possibly the size does say 24 and a half. So I'm assuming that that is a European size. European size? Maybe not. Maybe Japanese. They're not English sizing. So I'll have to look up and see what size that is in US sizing. English sizing. What am I even talking about? Yes, I used all my reusable bags today. And then the last pair of shoes are these little Sam Edelman calf hair cheetah little flats. They have a scalloped edge there on the toe, which is kind of cute. A little bit of wear on the calf hair. I'll take um, like a toothbrush or something to them to get the calf hair to lay down flat. But they're a six and a half. They just say dyed calf hair. So they are legitimate <laughs> calf hair. And there's not too much wear on the inside either because I know that they can get kind of gross inside. Flats in general because, you know, we don't wear them with shoes usually or with socks usually. So get kind of grody, but those seem fine. Um, now we're going to go into the clothing. I have two bags. We're already at 18 minutes, so thanks for holding on with me. Um, I paid a total of $16.70 for all of the clothes. Um, and I got, yeah, two bags. So I'll show you what I got. This first thing is this really pretty metallic dot fit and flare dress with these pleats. And it has a little bow in the back. How cute. This is by James Cav Caviello. I don't know. I'm going to show you. Um, for anthropology. And it's a size extra, extra small. No. Extra small petite. Sorry. I don't think you guys could read that. James Caviello. I don't know. Never heard of it before. But I thought it was really pretty. And again, we're coming into the holiday season. So... People are going to be looking for those dresses. Next thing is this little American Eagles, American Eagle, like, tinsel top. It's like a green color, size small. When I'm at the bins, I don't mind buying small brands. You're paying so little that it honestly doesn't make a difference to me, so I'll go ahead and get them. This is a Splendid Bra Gray. I didn't even know that they made Intimates, but they do. Um, apparently it's a size extra large. It's definitely not extra large, but okay. Splendid. Who taught you sizing? I don't know. Next up is this Lululemon sweater. 
it's like a purpley color, really pretty um, ribbed knit. And it does have um, a hole in the sleeve that I just noticed. Awesome. Uh, side slits. Yikes. Okay. There's a hole right there. You can't see it, but there is one. I'm still going to try and sell it. Still going to make my money back. It's a nice little sweater. Someone can wear a black long sleeve under it. There's the little logo there on the side. And pretend like the hole isn't there. <laughs> That's what I would do anyway. Because I like to make my clothes last as long as they can. Next up is this Free People sweater. Sorry. It is not buttoned, but it has snaps on the front. Really pretty. And it has this varsity stripe on the um, arm. This is a size medium. Also that Lululemon, I don't know what the size is because it's cut out. So that's probably why it was still sitting in the bin. I think this might be wool. I don't know. I'll find out later when I find the stock photo and the name. I do use stock photos on some stuff, but, you know, the name is really the most important part for free people anyway. This next sweater, I looked up the brand. It had good retail pricing, and there were some listed on Poshmark for $75 to $100. So I went ahead and got it. Again, I'm getting it from the bin, so anything above like 30 and I'm like, yes, new brand. Hi, yes, come home with me. This is from Sividini. It said made in Italy and it feels really nice, like a great knit. There is the tag. Um, it doesn't have a size, but it's just this button front little knit sweater. It's black. That looks really gray, but I promise that it's black. I'm going to move this up here so I can actually get into it. Next thing that I found are these soft spun full length Zella leggings. They feel brand new, honestly, and the um, tag on the inside uh, or outside, excuse me, the little logo thing. Where did it go? Right here. <laughs> Looks like it hasn't been washed. Um, I can't promise that, obviously, but here we are. And I don't think this has a size in it either. Probably like a medium. Medium, maybe a large. The next thing is this Gymboree really, really sweet dress. It has this fun floral print, kind of a bouncy neckline, bouncy elastic, dropped waist, and just like a flouncy little skirt. Since Gymboree's not um, open anymore, I, I pick up some of their stuff. It's very minimal. I don't sell a ton of kids or a ton of men's, but I'm not going to turn it down if it's good enough. Um, it will make me money. So I like making money. <laughs> Size eight is what this one is. Next thing is this um, really, really simple. It's going to make me money. <laughs> like I said before, um, Under Armour tank top. It's a blue marled um, color. It has a logo on the back and the front, and it's a size small. Nothing crazy. The last thing in this bag is another Lulu Lemon top. This is just um, their, like, power, not power way, their racer back. The name's not coming to me. Y'all know what I'm talking about though. It's a gray and white stripe. Gosh, why can't I think of the name? I will in a minute and I'll go, oh, and then you'll remember this moment. The next bag in here, this is a men's lived in shirt uh, buttoned down from Gap. It's kind of a purpley blue color stripe. Um, it's a size large. I pick up men's at the bins and I, I used to work for Gap so I have kind of a soft spot for that and I will buy it if I see it and I remember selling those for $50 so of course I want to sell it for $20 instead <laughs> for myself. Get all the money for me though not at $13 an hour. Okay next up is this really simple men's athletic tee from Adidas. Nothing crazy. Super super basic. Again 12 to 15 on that one. Next, how fun is this? Okay, I hope you guys can read it. It says Teamo, and then the box isn't checked, and then Tequila, and the box is checked. How fun. Doesn't have a size uh, that I saw. I didn't look at the inside tag, but it's just one of those novelty items that you want to get. It's a size large. It's like a women's large, you know, when they print unisex and then women's. It's from American Apparel you know, or on their t-shirts. It's not necessarily actually from American Apparel. I'm going to move this bag up here now. <laughs> I have such a random assortment of reusable bags because I can get them from the bins. This one's from Amazon Go. I've never ordered from Amazon Go. Next is this 
J. Crew tank top. Really simple, size extra large, black, flounce bottom. Your flounce bottom is showing. This is Hannah Anderson, little simple blue leggings. Nothing crazy, size 90, 90, um, uh -huh. And uh, they were in great condition, so I got them. 10 bucks, 12 bucks, maybe. Um, I really wanna get back on Kittizen, because I've been seeing some really good stuff from people that are posting their sales on there, so I just need to list some stuff back on there. That's like a kids reselling website. Um, next is a pair of Gap Denim. Again, it's one of those things where I have a soft spot. These are the Kirby True Skinny, which is like my favorite style when I was working there. And they're black, they're size 31. Did I say that already? I don't know. Simple. Everyone needs a pair of black skinny jeans, right? You can get them from me for $25 instead of 70 at the store. This is a really pretty little boho top um, from 11-1 Tile Ho. You girls never heard of that, but uh, it looks pretty and I wanted to buy it, so I bought it. Size medium. <laughs> Nothing exciting. Maybe that's a good brand and I'll learn it. I don't know. I didn't look it up. This is a Smart Wool, which is like my favorite brand to find because it sells instantly, basically. Really simple. They're all simple. Green, long sleeve little guys on the arm. Um, they almost always have flaws. This one does not. It's a miracle. I found Smart Wool several times at the bins. Almost always has flaws. And that one didn't, so uh, Thrift God's smiling down upon me, basically. That's what that was. This is an Athleta top. Size medium. This is their like soft spun kind of marled fabric that they make. Um, Lululemon also makes this fabric, but it's mostly Athleta. And it has just like an open little back in the back. So open little back. It's like the very bottom. <laughs> Pretend like I know what I'm talking about. Next is some LuLaRoe leggings. I only got these because they are uh, like a character print. These have Miss Piggy on them. How fun. And they are tall and curvy, so some tall and curvy lady that loves Miss Piggy because she's so fabulous and big and doesn't care about her body um, or her body shape and is proud of it. She's going to want those freaking pair of leggings. It's not me, but uh, someone. <laughs> Next up is this really kind of um, light and airy little top with the crochet yoke at the top. This is from Skies Are Blue, which is just an Urban Outfitters brand. I try not to pick up too much of this, like, junior style stuff, but I just really liked it. And it is a size large. Again, kind of a large, kind of not in junior sizing. Next is, we're getting down to the very end, by the way, of the Goodwill Outlet stuff. Super simple, gray, marled, made well tee. They're Whisper Tee, crew neck, size extra small. They sell for 10 to $12.00. I will not buy them at the thrift store anymore. I will only buy them at the outlet because they sell for very little and Goodwill wants at least $3 for them and I say no. So <laughs> I found a ton at this other store and it's just not worth it. Next thing that I found is this Desidual. I know I'm saying it wrong. I'm so sorry. Um, I don't know how to actually say it, but I do know how to sell it. So at least there's that. It doesn't have a size. It just says yes. Oh no, extra large. On the other tag, it says yes, which is what I said when I found it. Um, kind of a studded style with this layered cheetah print on the bottom. Studs on the back, too. I don't know. I just like finding that brand because it screams money at me. Next thing, the last thing from the bins is this size 36 double D Lululemon sports bra. It's white. It has some dinginess to it, so I'm going to wash it with some OxyClean, see what comes out, and sell whatever doesn't. That's that. Next, the last store that I went to was this Goodwill um, that I'd never been to before, and I spent $150. I'm gonna hope that I have enough memory on my phone to show you all of these things. If not, I might have to cut it short and I'll go from there, but I'm sorry. So, first thing that I found is my favorite thing that I found at that entire store and the most expensive thing that I bought. I paid $10 for this. It's a size medium. And it is a cat printed sheath dress with a Peter Pan collar. And it is from Postmark. 
by Anthropology. So there's the tag for that. If you're not familiar, it has a little keyhole in the back. I love cats so much. I have two of my own and they bring so much joy to me that it's like, why wouldn't you want to wear that on your body? I mean, hello. Okay, let me get the rest of the things out of this bag because it's really crinkly and loud. I don't like paper bags. I ran out of reusable bags, so that's why that was in a paper bag. Next thing is this J. Crew silver polka dot dress. It's a kind of a, what is that? Did I say sheath? Sheath or something. I don't know. I'll figure out what it is when I go to list. <laughs> it's a size four um, little career kind of dress. This is a moth by Anthropology, extra, extra small sweater tank top with a little tulip at the bottom. These are a pair of blank NYC. Oh, I didn't tell you guys how much I paid for the other things. Back it up. This J. Crew dress was $5. This tank top was half of $5 is $2.50. A lot of the things I got were blue tags, which was the half off tag. Blank NYC pin up high rise size 24 or double zero if you're not aware. Um, paid $2.50 for these little cut off shorts. Next thing is this Maeve by Anthropology. So I know that's the newer tag because uh, it actually says buying Anthropology on it. This is an extra small. Here's what the tag looks like. I love finding this tag. Just this little knit kind of ponty material um, tank. I paid $5 for this. Next, this is from Sejour, Sejour, Sejour from Nordstrom um, or Nordstrom Rack, uh, size 2X, which is the most sort of reason why I got it. This vertical stripe, it's blue and white blouse with this kind of ruched and tieable wide sleeve. And I did pay $3 for this guy. This is from White House Black Market. It's a size extra small. It's this, this is their newest tag and it's pretty much the only one that I pick up, but they do do really well for me. So um, it's a sparkly kind of floral print. I don't know if you can see that with the chiffon trim at the bottom. Just really pretty. I paid $3, I think. I don't know, I already lost track. Here's another postmark for anthropology, size extra small, a little tank, or not tank, T, with a little peplum at the bottom. It has this fun ruffle in the back that I really liked. So I did pay $5 for this one. Um, I usually don't pay that much for little anthropology tops, uh, but I really liked it, so I got it. <laughs> good, good reasoning. The cat is back there, and I'm hoping she doesn't knock down everything. Pumpkin! Oh, I'm afraid. <laughs> this is a little independent pumpkin. No. <laughs> I'm so sorry. T-shirt from J. Crew. I figure coming into election season, it's a great time to get it. This is the newest logo tag from them. Um, I believe it's a size, yeah, small. There you go. Great condition. I don't think it's even been worn. Um, I paid, sorry, $3. <laughs> This one is an Athleta tank top. I paid $6 for it. And the reason that I did that is because this is the newest tag and it's a size small, but it also has the tag still on it. This is the linen ruched tank. Linen does really well. This was probably a $40 tank top to begin with. So I'm hoping I can get 20. Next up is this little cabbie kind of cap sleeve top. It's a little bit oversized. It's a size large and I paid $2 for it. It has a little bit of wear, but not too much. I think I'll still be able to get 20 to $25 for it. Next up is a Garnet Hill dress. This is a size medium. I paid $4 for this, and it has this kind of baby doll fitted front with these, oh, that looks like boobs, sorry. Um, <laughs> let me just hold it up. Oh, you can't even see, I was doing this. Um, maybe that's inappropriate for YouTube, I don't know. These really fun pockets in the front that I really liked, so I went ahead and got it. <laughs> Next is this J. Crew. This is the an older tag, this smaller white tag, and this is a size medium. Um, and this is one of their little Terry short sleeve tops. Nothing too crazy. I paid three dollars. Cats are fighting. Don't don't mind them. Next up is this um, romper from Babaton. Babaton. I don't know how to say that. Um, it's 100% silk. It's an extra, extra small, but it's this really cute, kind of simple, real romper. Who doesn't love a silk romper in the summertime? 
because uh, I'm sure that that keeps you nice and cool, but then also you got to undress yourself to go to the bathroom, so... I don't know. I, I don't live that romper life, honestly, because that sounds like a lot of work. Okay, this is the last bag. And I have eight minutes left on my phone. So the whole reason I haven't filmed, filmed a YouTube video is because my phone uh, memory is very, very small and has very, very little room left on it. I'll save the shoes for last. Okay, this is a 2XL men's regular fit Under Armour tank top. It was $2, so I got it. 15 or so. This is an Oysel, which I believe is a Seattle-based brand. Um, size medium, little like workout tank kind of thing. They, their logo is a bird, so that's why the bird happened there. This is an I don't know. Oh, a Z by Zella tank top. This was $2, um, so I bought it. I like having workout wear in my closet because people like to bundle it. Um, let's see. This is a Torrid tank top. This was the only Torrid piece that was not like marked up to like $12. Um, and it was $3 because it was half off of six. Has really fun crochet in the front. Just a really pretty blush color. This is like my favorite cut that they make. Um, because obviously I have to wear plus size clothes. So I love Torrid, but that color would make me look nude. So <laughs> kind of like this sweater does. But there's a difference between wearing a nude sweater and a nude tank top. So <laughs> yeah, this is just a simple Nike bracer back has their classic just do it which is a really popular style and like boutique workout things and it happens to be orange theory colors so I'm gonna put the keyword orange theory in my listing and I did pay two dollars for this next up is this Bella doll little chambray button up pop over it's a pop over uh top it's a size small I paid four dollars for it I have heard people talk about this brand. Don't know how good it does, but I bought it. You know, same thing with this one. This is from Lumiere, Lumiere. Uh, I don't know if you can see that size large. It's this little lightweight tank with the tassels on the front and the little strings. Who doesn't love that? Next is this cabbie tank. This is the older cabbie tag, size large, but it has um, one of those seahorses on it. It's kind of fun. So I only pick up the older cabbie tag if I think it's something that's still relevant or a novelty print. Um, yeah, those are like my two criteria. This is a Diletta top from Anthropology, kind of an older style, but I loved the color. That was size medium. I paid $4. I paid $3 for the cabbie top. Sorry, I'm forgetting to do all of my steps here because I'm running out of time. This is a Komarov. I don't know. It's a little bit Nordstrom, Nordstrom rack. Uh, size medium, little crinkle top. All of their stuff has this like crinkle material on it. So I went ahead and got that for $4. Did I say that? What for? It was six. Excuse me. Six dollars. So I definitely didn't say it because that's a lot. This was five dollars. Rebecca Taylor. Kind of a really pretty layered front. This has like this cool you cannot see that i'm so sorry lace layer on the front it's a size oh no we maximum file size reached is it still gonna continue i don't know i'm gonna keep going because i'm almost done athleta size small these little tank tops that have the stretch to them i don't mind buying them for two dollars like that one was or three dollars like this one was this one's an extra small this is from Etro, E-T-R-O, made in Italy, size 48. Never found this brand before, but it seems to do well for other resellers, so I went ahead and got it. It's just this paisley button up top. Then I got this J. Crew tank. Uh, just a fun print, so I went ahead and got it for $4. It has a cool, like, back where it slides through. I don't know. Size zero. <laughs> Sure. Anything to entertain me, right? Um, let's see. This is from Vanessa Virginia from Anthropology. It says U.S. size 
zero. UK size four? That seems like a big difference. Um, it's just this like gray tag, but it's a fun little pleat, simple white tank top. Nothing too special, but everyone needs one of those for summer, so and I got it. This is an Aviva, which is the Lululemon's kids line. Somehow my memory went up to more. I don't know how that works. Size 14. <laughs> Sorry that I keep saying that. Um, I paid $8 for this. And it's this honeycomb knit oversized sweater. Could easily fit a women's probably medium. It's really cute. I wish I could show it better to you, but I can't, so... That was it for the clothes. And then the last two things were some shoes that I found. Um, not entirely confident in, well, this one, especially now that I'm seeing that the sequin is falling off. But, you know, I purchased them. So these are supposedly some Valentino flats. I don't know if they're real. Uh, you cannot read that, so I'm sorry. I'm going to get them authenticated because they did look okay until I just saw that one of the sequins is falling off. And, like, it's maybe glued on there not very nicely. Man! Okay, these are, these are probably not real. I paid $5 for them. <laughs> They're probably not real. Now that I'm looking at them a little better. I probably should have done that in the store. <laughs> That's a cattail. Please move. Last thing, stay down, is these LaFleur Randall uh, wedges, espadrille wedges with these lace cutout. These are the last thing I found before I left. They're a size, I don't know, they're like a 10 probably. We'll fi I'll find out, but um, <laughs> I feel like one of them said, but maybe not, regardless. That was it. I spent a lot of money. <laughs> so thank you for watching this haul. Um, I really appreciate you guys sticking it out to the end. And if you want to see more hauls from me, definitely hit the subscribe button. I'm going to try and put some more up for you guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Now I have to figure out how to turn this thing off.